WikiLeaks has published an email in which Hillary Clinton's campaign chief thanks a top Facebook manager for, quote, help and support. The email exchange dates back to the U.S. presidential election in 2016. Now we can cross now live to RT's Polly Boyka. Polly, tell us more what was significant in those emails. Well, it's really interesting because WikiLeaks tweet has really put things into perspective because on the one hand, you've got the Senate Intelligence Committee investigating the alleged Russian hacking in the run up to the US elections. And despite all the digging that they're doing, they're yet to find that clear trail that they're so desperate to find leading all the way back to the Kremlin. And then if you take a look at what Julian Assange has just unearthed now, it's one of the leaked Podesta emails, but it shows that there is clear evidence that Facebook expressed an overt bias towards Hillary Clinton in the run-up to the US election. Just look at the email. I think you've probably got it up on your screens right now. It's an email from Clinton's former campaign manager, John Podesta, to Sheryl Sandberg, the uh, COO, the chief operating officer of Facebook. And it says, uh, look forward to working with you to elect the first woman president of the US. And Sandberg's reply uh, is that she's thrilled by the progress that Clinton has been making. I mean, naturally, I think this begs the question, is the US uh, Senate as interested in Hillary's campaign manager working with Facebook to elect Hillary um, as they are in the alleged Russian meddling uh, in these elections as well? And by the way, that's by no means it. Um, the WikiLeaks tweet also highlights a personal email back uh, written back in 2015 by the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Um, it's to John Podesta, that's Clinton's campaign manager. It says that Zuckerberg enjoyed spending time with Podesta and that his conversation with him gave Zuckerberg a lot to think about. Infer from that what you will, but I think a pretty straight up reading will lead many to assume that uh, Podesta was there trying to lobby the CEO of Facebook. Um, and in fact, it's safe to assume that pretty much the whole of the Silicon Valley was on Hillary's side in the run up to the US election. Uh, if you remember, Google was accused of sort of calibrating its search results in order to, uh, well, with preference for stuff about Hillary to come out first. And subsequent leaks have revealed that uh, Eric Schmidt had very close ties to Hillary's campaign team. Uh, of course, Eric Schmidt, he's the executive chairman of Alphabet, which is Google's parent company. Now, take a look at uh, a leaked memo from Hillary Clinton's digital strategist during the election campaign. It relates to Eric Schmidt. Take a look at what it said. I have been kept apprised of the work being done by Eric Schmidt's group and others working directly and indirectly with your team. On the whole, I am comfortable with where we stand and confident in our roadmap to launch day and beyond. What I find quite fascinating, perhaps naively, is that no one appears to care about any of this, uh, that these large tech companies were all gunning for Hillary, and that that, uh, that clear preference for Hillary appears to be a given. Um, in case anyone is as concerned about this, uh, well, we've got in touch with Facebook in order to find out if they're going to be reporting themselves to the US Senate for their alleged ties to the Hillary campaign. It'll, of course, be interesting to see what Facebook's response is to that. RT's Polly Boyka reporting live from London. Thank